Amon Gordon played defensive line for eight years in the NFL. Do you have any sense of how many concussions you may have gotten? I have no idea. Innumerable amounts. In 2015, a neurologist diagnosed him with dementia at the age of 33. Now he suffers panic attacks, anxiety, and sleepless nights. <sighs> Wake up in the morning real, it's like, imagine your brain being frozen until about noon. But he has never received any of the nearly billion dollar settlement for concussion related injuries. You think it's because he's black? I absolutely think it because he's black. I think he's been discriminated against. Last summer, the couple learned the protocols to qualify for the settlement included something called race norming. Their cognitive test scores were adjusted based on age, education, and controversially, race. What it meant for the settlement was that black players had to score lower than white players to qualify to be paid. Even though the process for distributing the settlement was originally agreed upon by both the NFL and players' lawyers, many players say they didn't realize. Race norms were first developed because blacks in this country, on average, have experienced much more social disadvantage than whites. But now some experts say they are oversimplified and perpetuate systemic racism. I, I happen to be lucky right now, um, um, but who knows what's coming down the road for me. Former running back Ken Jenkins doesn't have cognitive issues yet, but last year he and his wife, Dr. Amy Lewis, took action when they heard about race norming. I wrote a petition um, under change.org and I asked my friends to pass it along. It ended up getting 50, 000, over 50,000 signatures. In June, the NFL, together with attorneys for the players, announced they would come up with new protocols. And we're all somehow celebrating this, but that's like someone stole your purse and then volunteers to help you find it. Now Lewis and Jenkins are calling on the Department of Justice to investigate possible civil rights violations. The league denies there was discrimination, but agreed that the race-based norms should be replaced. Roxy Gordon sees this moment as an opportunity for the NFL. I'm hoping that the NFL will take a look at these people and their families and do what's right. It's time. The proposal for the changes due today in court goes through a common period before going into effect, but that could be retroactive, which could affect hundreds of former players. As for that investigation into civil rights violations, the DOJ tells us it is still under review. Race norming in 2021 is yeah, pretty, you can't even pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty and ridiculous. they sort of hope yeah. that this case will end the practice yeah. across the board ridiculous. with everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Right. Thank you, Good Steph. story, Steph. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.